awful lot out of Dorrington. And that defence is starting to let him down again. Matthews has found it easy to find the target. Swollen up around the head. Dorrington has done brilliantly, really, to still be in there after the punch he took at the end of the last round and the, well, maybe half a dozen right at the start of this. Good body shot that was from Matthews as well. Chopping right hands, he's beginning to tee off on Dorrington. Funny fighter Matthews, aren't they, isn't he? There are times when he looks good and then he does something like that, he just again got caught by one, dropped his hands. Yes, I think temperament-wise, he's got to he's got to stop that because that's a, a bad point. And then he'll move through the gears like this, and he looks world class at times when he's putting his punches together in little clusters. He's a real in and out kind of operator. Does look tired, doesn't he? Matthews? He looks very very tired. He's he's worked very hard. He's caught Dorrington with a lot of punches. And he does look tired at that as he's sitting there, gasping for breath. Scored with some good, solid punches there. You see the, the right hand, which has worked so well for him. But I think it's time just to mix it up a little bit more and, and go for something different. Dorrington's only ever been stopped once in his career by Robert Allen in five rounds back in 1994. He's tough enough, all right. You can see that. He's right at the very end of the round where... He was on top, Matthews here, throwing lots of straight punches, and Dorrington again did very well to survive. Hit by a grease by the uh, right eye of Matthews, and I think he's precautionary. I don't see a cut there. Here's round seven. Matthews has been on the verge of victory a couple of times in the last two rounds. But Dorrington has shown enormous grit. This is new territory for Matthews. The first round seven he's fought in his life. Good work at the start of the round for Matthews. Just picking his punches well. I think he'd do better to do that rather than get involved in a slug fest. He'd better just to pick his punches behind the jab. He rocks the head back and then look for, for punches behind that, the big right hand or the left hook. It's a bit unsteady on his legs, Dorrington. Dorrington's took some heavy punches over the last few rounds, Ian. His right eye has become a bit swollen as well. There are bruises underneath both his eyes. Matthews, terrific right hand again. Matthews isn't possessed of single punch knockout power. He won't knock you cold, put the lights out. But uh, with shots like that, he's going to wear anybody down. How is Dorrington taking these? Well, I think at, at this point, the referee, I think you were just going to say that, the referee has to look closely because Dorrington's took some heavy punches. It may not be too much longer. And now there's blood coming from a cut around the forehead by the bridge of the nose for Dorrington. Matthews just has to pick his shots, you feel now. Then Matthews just going on the retreat a little bit with the hands down. That's a, he's got to try and change back. It's a bad little part of his style. Dorrington's face is a mess now. And he's fighting out of desperation. Falls back in the reps and that's where the referee says that's enough. Good stoppage, I thought. Excellent stoppage by Paul Thomas. Pick the moment absolutely right. And Jason Matthews makes it 16 out of 16. He's won his last 11 by stoppage now. Retains his junior championship, the uh, WBO Intercontinental title. And will stay up in the top 10 of the world rankings 
that it was um, a curious performance in some ways. Yes, it was It was very hard work. I think, you know, we've got to praise Darren Dornan, who was very, very tough and very brave. He took some very heavy punches over the last few rounds and he kept by him. But look at the, the mess of his face. You know, he's very badly swollen or very badly bruised. And I think Paul Thomas was excellent in his decision there. He looked for the, the last round, he, he looked at Dorrington and he just picked the right time. He didn't allow him to get too much pressure. So I think at that point, Matthews could have really just stepped on and hurt him. Some of the action with Matthews dishing out big right hands. He did that throughout the fight. That was his, his best punch. But it was a contest as we look at the final action again that left a little question mark about Matthew's own punch resistance earlier on. Yes, it exposed him a little bit because a couple of times he, he just seemed to dip the knees. So I think we've got to look at that. But again, under pressure, he still did well. He got his hands up and he handled the situation. He's got some power. There's no doubt about his bottle and heart, stomach for a fight. He gets ticks on all of those. But uh, maybe temperamentally, there is things for them to work on. And then just, we see the final, just at the very end, he just sagged back against the ropes. And I think the referee thought, you know, his legs had gone, he was tired. To, to sit back like that, he, he must be tired, he must be hurt. You just see it there. There was no way Dorrington could win from there. And there's a one big right hand, now he just falls back against the ropes and an excellent time to stop the fight. And a Mr. Method Man, Jason Matthews, still unbeaten. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 17 seconds on round seven, your referee on a corner holds the contest. Darren Dorrington, unfortunately, being in no to continue. Your winner and still the WBO its contest on middleweight champion, Jason. One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, Jason Matthews, the belt's still around your waist, but that was hard. Yeah, I expect him to come out hard because Chris Hennigan's a good trainer and, like, he's done his work on me. But I didn't want to go for three, three or four rounds. I wanted to go about seven, eight rounds. I wanted to beat him up, you know, I just wanted to beat him up because that's the kind of attitude I had tonight. Two to my uncle who died on Thursday. That just goes out to him. Mr. Wilfred Lewis just goes out to him, you know, but and I got his, his strength in my veins and all that. But um, I come out to give, give, give the crowd what they, they, they wanted. And um, it was a tough fight. I mean, I thought he was going to be stopped before that because I, I hurt him really bad. And he came back. But he hurt you, Jason. I mean, you look, you look hurt in the second and fourth round. And you showboated. No, I wasn't, I wasn't hurt. I was trying to make him come on and make him do some more work and get tired before I can annihilate him in the seventh round. Well, what tremendous courage from Darren Dorrington. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, this, the, I mean the, cut, the cut was spitting, spitting out blood. It was, I was up. It was, it was really concussed. I mean, I went back to third or fourth round. But, he gave me a great fight, you know. My hat goes off to him. Good fight, but um, I've got bigger and better things to go into now. What are, what are they? Ryan Rhodes or possibly uh, um, Neville Brown or Glenn Cantley, the winner of that? Ryan Rhodes, Neville Brown, any one of them, I'll take them out. At the end of the day, that was five months off last time I had my other fight. You know, five months break from the ring. does make you a bit rusty. But, I mean, hopefully if I get a fight next month or, or December, you see the powerful method man. Well done, Jason, tonight. Okay, thanks. Yeah, man, we can. Well done, Jason. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 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 Ye